I'm coming, I'm coming. If you hand over to government to maintain, the budget the money and share it. To, to live in that particular place that the house is, so it's supposed government to will compensate them so that and pay them and relocate them to where they are going and build another house for them. Careful engineering and management to meet human needs. your income to pay your rent and pay other bills this video will show you different ways that you can do that and make extra income stay with me welcome to another episode of property doctor the show that brings to property owners and property users the easiest remedies to beautify your homes save money and maintain your buildings on this episode we'll be discussing five ways to turn around your income to pay your rent and other bills January is the beginning of the year and many people will be paying rent sooner than later in the year and this is one part of the bills you wish you could avoid but you know reality is that you cannot stay without shelter because shelter is very important it's one of the basic needs of man and if you have a family you will not want to be squatting around with your friends and you know this is not even advisable because before you know it you've become a pest to them we have on our youtube channel eight ways of generating income i will advise you to visit and that video you can learn great ideas from this video and also we have other interesting which you can gain from please watch those videos now how do you turn around your income to um reduce your debts or to pay your rent. The first thing I'll talk about is um, you must have a goal. I mean, achievable goals. Now, if you're staying in a place, you have an idea of what your rent can be. So that would be your goal. So what you do is you have a big goal and then break down the big goal to smaller goals, smaller achievable goals within a short period of time. This will help you build up the big goal it will now look like you're doing a, a puzzle, like putting the puzzle together to form a big picture. But you know what you have to do? You have to plan it consciously and you make sure that you follow your plan to keep you um, abreast of everything that you're trying to do. There are several things you have to put into your list when trying to turn around your income. These include living within your means, you know, clear all debts if possible and reduce your liabilities and when you reduce your liabilities it is important to start looking at ways to build up your assets when all of these are properly thought out and put into place you excuse me you find out that you've turned around your income um, consecutively during this period the reason these things have to be done is because they eat up your finances easily and you won't be able to save at all if you keep spending money on liabilities on those things that don't generate income those things that don't generate money this leads me to um talking about having alternative income or another income if if um it does not have to be big it does not have to be you know something that is too large that you now say okay you must have big money but it should be regular so that you can pay some bills this is to pay smaller bills that um, maybe eating up into your income and this money that is coming in will be used to pay other bills that you rather not want to um, make your income diverted you understand so another thing I'll be talking about is setting up a passive income strategy although I've mentioned that in number one but I'm looking at how you set up your passive income strategies in different ways this is very crucial because salary cannot pay all your bills including your house rent if you live basically on your salary at the end of the day you become frustrated and you become very angry when you have an extra source of income they generate little money or more income and this more income you generate you can channel to pay your bills like i told you earlier on into other um other things that you like to do in the house so you can channel 
your little bills to that extra income and use the salary or your main income for an investment. You should have a plan in this year, 2021, because things are changing. Set up the kind of system that needs minimal ongoing management, but you know it continues to produce significant cash flow far into the future. We not want a situation whereby during this 2021, people will still be complaining of, I don't know what to do, um, I don't have enough money, but we can do something. You look into um, solving problems. If you have that first idea into your mind about solving problems, you find out that you have started generating income. You started looking at ways in which you can generate. Because when you have a problem, you will look for a solution to that problem. The way you have that problem, generally you see people around you having that same kind of problem and looking for a solution to that problem it means you have started looking for a way to generate income by solving the problems because other people will now come to you for you to solve their problems now one of the sources of income include having a point of sale like a pos machine in nigeria here if you have a pos machine now in nigeria you are almost like an ATM machine. And you know, people will pay you for your services. So if you have a point of sale machine in your location, you can earn small fees paid by customers whenever they need to use the machine. You can also become an editor or you can become an online marketer. Even, you know, in the construction world, you can sell building materials. You can even sell building, you can sell houses, you can sell lands through the internet. Now, people are really using that opportunity. You can make markets anywhere or you can market anywhere in the world because the internet has made the world a very small small place. You can become a logistic personnel or a delivery man for big companies because, you know, um, when we were in school, we were taught about leaving things that you need to move. It is still happening today and it is still one function of um, the living being. So if you're a living being, you need to move around. So if you're a logistic person or you are somebody in the transportation industry, you will find out that your services are really needed. And you can start small. You can start by having a bike and deliver goods for people. With time, you will grow. So you can become a logistic personnel or a delivery man for big companies selling their products. You can also cook food and sell. You know, food is another basic need for man. You cannot do without eating. So you can cook food, you can sell to generate extra income. You can help people make soup for the weekend. You can cook maybe egusi or gon. All those are uh, delicious foods that we have in Nigeria. You can cook them and sell. You can pack them in good containers and sell even in large quantities. And your delivery man can help you deliver to different people. I actually do not to talk in details about side hustle, but I don't know, somehow I'm really talking about the side hustle, but you can do something to generate consistent income so as to save and build capital for investment in properties. Because you know, there's always inflation. So when you have money, the amount of money you have, they say the value of that money will be dropping with time. So it's always good to invest in assets that will not depreciate or assets that will not lose its value over time. Now you can save and invest to grow. So the first thing for you is to put your funds together and you now look for ways in which you can invest in different things. You can invest in treasury bills, you can invest in shares, you can invest in forex, you can also invest in properties. I always advocate that people should invest in property because it's very, very profitable. This cannot be overemphasized because it's a crucial part of any great man or woman. As the saying goes, spend after investing. So not invest though, after spending. So make sure you spend, you put a part of your money or your part of your income aside for investment before spending the rest. Because if you keep the money aside first and you start spending, you find out that you keep spending money, it may not even be enough and you will not have enough for investment. So you have a target, a plan that, okay, at a particular month or week, I want to invest this amount of money or I want to keep aside this amount of money so that I can use it to 
invest in a particular area. Do not buy things because it's trendy for those people who like um, designers. They want to buy trendy things and they keep changing. You know, if you buy things today, they keep changing. Those things keep evolving. You know, so it's important that you don't follow the fashion trend for now. Why? Because you have a target. You need to improve on your capital. So do not buy things because it's trendy, but buy what you need. It is sweet to look good. Actually, I know that, but do not people who don't even notice what you're wearing or what you have on. They don't even know the value, but impress your investment looking good is good business but when you save you grow and you can grow from your profit you can buy your trendy things from your profit now let's go on a short break but before we go property doctor has some products that will be very helpful to our staying healthy and wise so we have property doctor soap we have Property Doctor Hand Wash. We have Property Doctor Air Freshener, um, Property Doctor Bleach, Property Doctor Tile Care, Property Doctor Glass Care. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. I'm coming, I'm coming. If you hand over to government to maintain, the budget, the money, and share it. To, to live in that particular place that the house is, so it's supposed government will be compensate them so that I pay them and relocate them to where they are going and build another house for them. Careful engineering and management to meet human needs. If you're just joining us for the first time, you're watching Property Doctor. And on this episode, we're talking about five steps to turning around your income to pay rent and other bills. Now we've been talking about um, how to save, to invest, to reduce your spending, to plan and um, have goals. But the next thing we want to talk about is acquiring new skills. Don't get tired of getting new skills because in this era, technology is rapidly gaining ground. And if you don't acquire these skills, no one will employ you. For instance, having a computer uh, or having a computer knowledge and good communication skills will be a very good advantage to you as you can do freelancing job for some organizations and even earn while you're having your own job and still running some side hustles. For yourself there are many new skills out there that you can learn like computerizing during the computerization you can do video editing you can do accounting you can do bookkeeping ebook keeping is also available you can also use your your computer or use your app to do different things now you you know that the the world is changing and because of the era of COVID-19, we found out that a lot of people can actually work from different areas and they can do things from different parts of the world. You can have somebody staying in a place maybe thousands of kilometers away, working in another company because of the internet and because they have computers. So you need to be computer literate and you need a good computer, you need a good communication skill. You can do a lot of things by being computerized. So finally, one of the ways you can turn around your income to pay rent is to change your perspective. Very important. You see, having millionaires and billionaires as friends is very important. You know, you are who you are surrounded by. You might even be put off by the attitude of millionaires and billionaires. But I, I promise you, when you get to that position, even you will behave the way the millionaires behave because there's a way they think, there's a way they act. And a lot of people will get irritated. They say maybe they are proud or they, they, they have a way of thinking. But it's because 
of what they have seen. So if you actually want to become a millionaire, think like a millionaire. So one of the easy way to success to, to learn from people that, I have, that have made it. So if you want to be like them, you follow up with them. You ask for some of the techniques that have worked for them and try it. No man is an island. But if you keep asking them, they will guide you. They will teach you if you f they find out that you have a teachable spirit. They will guide you and tell you a lot of things because they have passed through that route before. So they know all the potholes on the route and they know so many things, so many mistakes. And, you know, you are learning from their mistakes for you not to get into that particular mistake. It saves you time. It saves you money. It saves you emotional stress. So it's better you make friends with good people. So try and surround yourself with maybe five to ten millionaires around you and see the way they do things so that you too can become a millionaire. Thank you for joining us on today's episode. Kindly let us know which episode you found to be most exciting and educating to you from Property Doctor. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Please kindly do so on the link below. You can also follow us on Facebook at Property Doctor NG, on Instagram at Property Doctor NG, and on Twitter at Property Doc NG. Make sure you join us next week, Tuesday, for another exciting episode of Property Doctor. Have a beautiful week ahead. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.